Alright guys, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how to, uh, how I record, you know, and uh, what my render settings are and so on and so forth. So first of all I'm going to start off by showing you my Call of Duty 4 settings. Um, they're really, really simple. Um, I don't know how you can fuck it up. Yeah, it really is easy. Anyway, what you need to do is you need to, if you're going to make movies and so on and so forth, what you want to do is you want to make yourself a new profile like I've got here. I've got movie and movie mod. So you create yourself one of them and open it. And what you want to do is you want to go down to, uh, sorry, options. Uh, go gra graphics. I don't know why it's, uh, it doesn't actually say, uh, it's not actually in that resolution. Um, it's in another resolution, uh, which is, well, hang on. Uh, reso. How do I get the resolution again? Uh, oh, custom mode. So you can see there at the top, it says uh, 1280 by 1024. That's the resolution I have it at all the time. And my um, aspect ratio is always standard to uh, 4 by 3. So make sure you've got all that done. Uh, everything maximum, blah, 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 blah. Um, if all fails, just uh, if you've got someone's config, exec it. Uh, hang on a second. And then uh, vid restart. Uh, everything should be uh, should have gone back to the way I normally record. Uh, just check. No, it hasn't. But there you go. Um, you get the idea. That's pretty much all you have to do on the Call of Duty. So remember, a recap. Four by three aspect ratio. Everything on maximum if you can, or some things don't need to be turned on if you don't really want them. The resolution is 1280 by 1024. So that's that bit done. Now we go over to Sony Vegas. Number of Vegas settings aren't the best in the world, but you know, obviously they're acceptable for me. Now, um, I always want to go over to new document settings, so you want to copy this down. I'll probably uh, pause the screen uh, uh, or something at the moment. But uh, I want it like you need the frame rate at 60 frames per second. Uh, the width and height it should be 1280 by 720. Start all projects with this pixel format. Nothing with the audio or ruler summary. Audio CD is uh, changed, it's only the video. So make sure you've got 1280 resolution by 720. Frame rate is 60. Everything, whatever it says here. Now then, uh, to actually render, I'll go get one of my clips in quickly. Plus 40 shot, shotgun. Come on, import. There we go. Right, now it's got up with me uh, little preview screen. Now obviously you want to go to maintain ma aspect ratio so it's all gone. You want to get rid of disable resampling. Now then, the actual rendering settings themselves. Now uh, what you want to do is uh, create yourself either an mp4 version. I'll show you my mp4 version while I'm at it. Alright, so I've got the frame rate at 60. Pixel aspect ratio at 1.3333, 12 megabit, uh, 12 megabit, uh, 12 million megabit bit rate. There we go. The frame size is 1,440 by 1080. So remember that. The audio, nothing changed. System, nothing changed. Project, back down to best. Now let's go show you my uh, my WMV settings. Now. Video again is 1440 by 1080p. Pixel aspect is 1.33. Video smoothness all the way to the max. Frame rate is at 30 this time, but I will be changing to 60 frames per second. It's a perfectable precedence if, whatever you want for the frames per second. It depends if you're an editor or you're rendering out to uh, to, to actual YouTube to you know upload or whatever. Anyway, uh, my bit rate is 10 or 15. I use 10 at the moment because my computer is being gay. And video rendering at best. There you go. That's everything done. Then you, what you want to do is just save it, and uh, you're done. That's about it, really. And uh, those are my rendering settings. Uh, I'm Shift, also the Decertic. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.